McChess is the Macromolecular Diffraction Center of the Cornell High Energy Synchrotron. The mission of McChess is to really provide uh, the research, the technology, the development to help structural biologists uh, pursue both what are the most exciting questions in structural biology and the most challenging. Uh, scientifically, we deal with a very wide range of biological questions. Um, researchers come to us from all over the world with, with mainly biomedically related questions. Uh, they do research into uh, developing new drugs, how living cells work. We at Cornell here actually develop new technology to assist them. Better ways to use the x-rays to detect them, better ways to reduce the data to obtain uh, clearer, more accurate pictures of what's going on in the molecules of life. Uh, the collaboration between CHESS and MacChess is a, a wonderful example of an interagency collaboration. And uh, CHESS funded by the National Science Foundation, MacChess by the National Institutes of Health. Uh, roughly speaking, CHESS uh, generates and provides the x-rays to the experimental station MacChess optimized the experimental station for macromolecular structure determination. And the two organizations collaborate on things like detectors and in hutch optics. And MacChess provides a data analysis support and um, additional personnel in the hutch to facilitate macromolecular uh, users while they're here. High pressure cryocooling is a technique that's been developed here. The high pressure cryofreezing component of the MacChess program is unique to this uh, location. There's no other place in the United States that I know of where users can come in and, and utilize this technique. Cryofreezing under pressure uh, has two kinds of benefits. One is it lets you get x-ray diffraction data of higher quality than you can with normal cryofreezing. So that's sort of a means to an end the end being trying to determine the structure of the protein. Sometimes, however, you're also interested in understanding the effect of pressure on the proteins themselves. So, for example, there are organisms at the bottom of the ocean that are under high pressure. We know that they work very differently under high pressure than atmospheric pressure, and this is a mechanism of uh, preserving the pressure changes so that you can look at them with x-ray diffraction. MacChess is a great facility. We've been using both the uh, crystallography of MacChess as well as small angle x-ray scattering. Uh, and both of these are applicable for the, the questions we're asking. What we do is we study protein structure. And, um, but we also like to look at how proteins change. Uh, in solution and in crystals, etc. So we use crystallography to really look at the detailed structure of, of proteins. What we're studying are proteins from the central nervous system. So these are proteins that are involved in how we form memories, how we learn things. So, so they're, they're called glutamate receptors. And what we can do is take drugs and put them in the binding site and look and understand how they, how they interact. So we can learn how to make better drugs that way. We started with x-ray scattering. Um, and we didn't know anything about how to do it. Uh, the staff here uh, took us through it, helped us from start to finish. So they've been fantastic in terms of collaborating with um, both data collection and data analysis. I'm a graduate student at MacChess, and I work in microcrystallography, which is the study of small protein crystals. I work with graphene, and graphene is a single layer of planar carbon atoms. It's a single atom thick, therefore it's actually transparent to x-rays. This means that it's a perfect material for use in graphene windows or maybe in some sort of mounting materials. But all of this will reduce the amount of background scatter that you see in your diffraction images. What I really love about Mac Chess is the amount of collaboration, but also the amount of diversity of backgrounds. So there's people who have expertise in so many different areas that you can find a solution to any problem here. Mac Chess has been a remarkable environment to work in. It's very, very diverse. You have this, it's like a nexus of, of different researchers coming from all over the world with, with uh, all with different sort of 
uh, uh, tricks and, and under, new understandings of, of the things that they've done. And so um, we, we get, we really benefit enormously from, from all of that input, having so many people come through the facility. This facility, I think, can really be set apart by, by the quality of the staff here, I think. And, and also the equipment is, you know, it's first rate. We've, we've been able to do everything we need to do right here. What McChess does for structural biology is bring the latest developments technology to investigators who are trying to approach questions but need that technology to get the answers. And I think McChess's whole goal is to really bring those developments to the community so that investigators can get those answers.